All I have to do is pray and he'll listen to me no matter what. I'm going, no, that's not what scripture teaches. You read this book sometime. In Isaiah 58, the people were fasting and praying and God says, I'm not listening to you. He goes, you can fast all you want. You can cry. You can, you, you, you can not eat for a month. I'm still not listening to you because you don't care about the poor. He goes, you start caring about the poor, caring for the hungry. And then when you call to me, I'll say, here I am. He doesn't always listen. James 1 tells us that. He says, if you pray and you doubt, he goes, don't expect to receive anything. In James 4, 3, he goes, if you pray and you pray for the, with the wrong motives, so whatever you pray for, you're praying for yourself, he goes, you're not going to receive anything. In 1 Peter 3, he tells husbands, husbands, you better treat your wives as a fellow heir of the grace of life. You better honor your wives so that your prayers may not be hindered. It's conditional. In in, uh, 2 Chronicles 7.14, the big prayer verse, right? What's the first word of that? If, if my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear. It's if, then. If, then. If they'll turn from their wicked ways. If you stay in your sin, you're not having any desire to repent and you think you just fall on your face and say, God, I want this, I want that. And you think God's listening. God's saying, no, clearly, I'm not, I'm not listening to that. And in the same way with the church, we just have to realize, man, we can't just assume because we came in here and we sang some songs, we prayed some prayers, and we had an assembly that God's pleased. In fact, if you read in the book of Amos, in Amos chapter 5, gosh, in Amos chapter 5, God takes it another level. In Amos chapter 5, verse 21, listen to this. I hate... I despise, this is God speaking. This isn't me, it's God. I hate, I despise your religious festivals. Your assemblies are a stench to me. Even though you bring me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring me choice fellowship offerings, I will have no regard for them. Away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your harps, but let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never failing stream. That's intense. See that being up there in heaven right now? That being who, who determines whether I live for the next 33 minutes? That being up there who determines whether any of us walk out of this room, he actually believes that he deserves our best. And he says, so if you're going to bring me this, these just songs and some offerings and you got these assemblies, don't think I'm pleased with just that. In fact, he tells these people, look, just because you're having an assembly doesn't mean I'm thrilled up there. He goes, in fact, I see your, he calls their assembly a stench. That's, that's crazy. He goes, even when you bring me my, these offerings, even your choice, your best offerings, he goes, I have, I have no regard for them. In those words, away with the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the music of your... And you're like, but, but did you hear our band? And God's just going, la, 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 la. I, he goes, why? He goes, because I don't see a sense of justice in you. I don't see righteousness. Um, the things that I care about. You thought by just going through the routine that I'd be pleased. And he's going, no. And that, that's why, I, you know, whenever I, I walk into a gathering, I'm, I think our hearts are similar where we go, God, I don't want to bring you something you don't want. Right? I mean, we're here to please him, right? And at the end of the day, the, the goal here today is not that you walk away and go, oh, that was good. The goal is that God looks down, sees what we're doing, and he goes, okay, now that was good. 
You get, did, you, did you understand that? That coming in here today, so often in church in America, we have this co- consumer mindset. Like, I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to see if I like the music. I'm going to see if I like the speaker. I, I want to see if I like the room and the child care. You guys, that's the wrong mindset. Coming in the room, coming in the room is, is we're going to come in the presence of Almighty God together. And gosh, afterwards, I hope that he's pleased with my act of worship. Like, I want him to be pleased. Like, we come in seeking to please him. Hopefully you came with that. Because God's not thrilled just because we showed up. He's a great God. And he believes he deserves our best. And I want to give him my best. You know, I I started a... Yeah, amen, amen. 